Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 3. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 9. In today's episode we are taking a look at the Rampages here in Portland. Rampages are essentially you get given a weapon and given a task, whether it be kill a certain amount of gang members or kill a certain amount of vehicles with that specific weapon. The weapon is offered with unlimited ammo but not uh, automatic reloads. You have to do all the reload manually and you can't flip through your available weapons to speed up the reload as you usually would be able to uh, so you do have to bear that in mind anyways this first one is here in st mark's there are two locations for each rampage in this game which is really awkward they basically what happens is they spawn in one place first time round second place and then second time round if you fail it they spawn in a different place uh, and then they'll sort of go on that loop so on your third attempt they'll spawn in place one uh, and so on and so forth it's a little bit weird uh, but on this one I managed to do it first time round, kill 20 Mafia members in 120 seconds with the AK. The AK is a very good weapon, uh, so this one wasn't too bad. The Mafia are only equipped with pistols at the start of the game and they do not attack you on sight. This is why I do recommend doing the Rampages uh, as soon as you start the game. You can do these later on, although this one would be rendered much harder as the Mafia are equipped with shotguns uh, as soon as you reach Staunton Island. But anyways, that one pretty simple. I would recommend stockpiling on health and armor before you begin any of these. Anyways, next up, this one's in a bit of an awkward location here in the red light district. This is its first spawn point to murder 30 Diablos in 120 seconds, but I failed that miserably. So instead, uh, I triggered it here in Chinatown, and uh, it is much, much easier to do this in Chinatown because you can actually keep your distance. You can essentially uh, spray the Diablos from this walkway here uh, and occasionally, you know, they'll come up to you but in the red light district they can be a lot closer, they can approach you from all angles but because of the way this one works you have the school behind you so you can sort of use that to cover your rear. They shouldn't really come anywhere other than outside of your peripheral vision. They shouldn't come from your rear. Uh, you get given the M16 which is a pretty good weapon but you cannot auto aim with it you have to manually aim it which is a little bit weird but the one advantage of this one is the Diablos are not particularly well equipped they're mostly baseball bats and fists uh, some of them have pistols but you know that that's very very rare and you know from this distance they didn't really seem to attack unless they were on that walkway there most of the time they just sort of run off uh, so it's just a case of getting your aim better when it comes to the M16 uh, which I try to do. I think eventually I get bored and just rush in, but uh, yeah, a pretty simple task this one. Uh, one of the easier rampages in Portland, provided you trigger it from this location. Also bear in mind, paramedics will come to revive gang members. This is actually kind of advantageous, so I don't recommend shooting the paramedics, because when they revive them, they'll spawn without weapons. So that can actually be quite useful uh, to get them there. Anyways, our third rampage comes over to... Uh, well, the docks once again, where we are going to be tasked with killing 20 triads in 120 seconds with a shotgun. This, in my opinion, is the most difficult uh, challenge here in Portland because the shotgun is a very close range weapon and the triads do have pistols and bats, uh, so this one is quite difficult. I triggered it from the second location, but to be honest with you, uh, either way, uh, you can do it. It's just a very hard one. I do recommend stockpiling once again on ammo and health for this one because you do need to get up close and personal. I tried to aim at them from this balcony uh, to see if that would help and you kind of can. The problem is they don't really spawn and it's kind of ineffective to do so I, in the end I do end up hopping down and uh, you can, yeah, I, I sort of see the issue here. One thing to note with the shotgun is occasionally it won't kill them in one blast as well. They will occasionally get up again. Uh, which is a little bit weird. I accidentally shot the paramedics there. Um, one, the only real good saving grace of this is the triad spawning is quite frequent, um, but it's still very difficult. It's also not helped by the fact that uh, the police also decide to get involved in this one. You are not immune to police attention when doing the rampages, which is something to bear in mind. Sometimes that can be advantageous on the vehicle killing ones, uh, but in times like this it really is not. It's also worth noting you might see me jumping. Uh, jumping is quicker than sprint, uh, jumping is quicker than just base running when you've got the heavier weapons in your hand, the weapons you can't sprint with. So that is something to bear in mind. Uh, yeah, the shotgun's a, 
The problem with the shotgun is it's a close range weapon, but it's really awkward at close range sometimes. You can see me desperately trying to pop away from that guy with the bat there. But yeah, this one is very difficult. It is, like I said, easily the most difficult, and it's much, much harder uh, past... I was so lucky to avoid that. Um, it is much, much, much harder when you get past the point of trial by fire or uh, one of Tony's missions where the triads attack you on site. I do definitely recommend doing this one uh, when the triads do not hate you because, yeah, I can't imagine doing this when the triads shoot at you on site. It must be very, very difficult indeed. Again, armor would help. Uh, I, for some reason, didn't get it and I was desperately trying to find a triad. Uh, to trigger this one at the last second, which I think I do. Yeah, there you go. Just, just do it, and then I immediately get killed uh, by the triads. I'm on four health. I was extremely lucky with that one. Uh, extremely lucky indeed. So, uh, yeah, that one definitely will take a good couple of attempts. Next up, speaking of triads, uh, the first location for this particular rampage is down at this alleyway, same place where Trial by Fire takes place. And the goal of this one is to kill 25 triads in 120 seconds with the Uzi. I missed the trick with this one first time around, hence why I failed it. This one actually probably is easier in its initial spawn point, but its second spawn point is here at the super save. And you see, what I didn't figure out is I tried to do it on foot. Don't do that with the Uzi rampages, you can actually use uh, the car to do this with, and I find this a much, much more effective method. Uh, the Uzi does seem to be more deadly when it's fired from a car. It has some sort of like auto-aiming potential as well, which is nice. Uh, and also the car can move around more freely so you can sort of encounter triads spawning easy you don't have to sort of run around looking for them because that is half the struggle with these rampage missions sometimes you'll get close to the end and realize that you still have lots to take out and you just simply cannot so uh, having the car means you can drive around more more people spawn so it's a lot easier I do recommend uh, on any of these Uzi rampages, this is what I'll be doing. I'll be grabbing a car and uh, performing a drive-by attack. Some of them do actually require you to do uh, drive-by attacks from a car. Uh, and again, the triads only have pistols and baseball bats, so they can't really do a whole lot of damage uh, to the car as well. I do recommend getting something with a decent amount of strength. You know, the taxi, for example, which I'm using here, uh, wouldn't be my first choice. And there are bulletproof cars later in the game, which I would probably recommend for this definitely. Uh, but the taxi is of average strength and it can resist pistol shots pretty much all day long uh, so you shouldn't really have any issues there. Also worth noting is the rewards climb up incrementally in $5,000 with the final rampage netting you the most money. Next up we come back here to the St. Mark's area for a bit of a weird one. Uh, it involves going along the train lines which bear in mind on this one you can be run over by trains so uh, I'll watch that. Anyways, this rampage involves destroying 10 vehicles in 120 seconds. As you can see, the reason I drove the taxi up there is to destroy the taxi straight away. And essentially, uh, I don't know what it's like from any other spawn point, but my method with this one was to just throw these down and see if I could clip cars on the intersection. If you throw them too high, they just explode in midair, uh, which is kind of useless. As you can see, they're not very effective, so the best thing to do is just sort of slowly trip them, but you'll see in a minute there is one slight issue with doing it that way. Yeah, make sure you have full health and armor for this one. The last thing you want to do is explode yourself. Getting police attention on this one is actually worthwhile because the police cars will park underneath uh, the train line. As you can see, I get destroyed by the train there, uh, which you don't want to do, and I immediately start getting shot at, but thankfully I only had four more cars to go. I guess you could just drop down and do this one, but I do... Doing it from the train line, the great are not the most effective weapons in the world. They don't have particularly good range. They're kind of awkward to use. So, you know, doing this on the ground level, I wouldn't really recommend it. I'd recommend staying on the uh, subway lines, but uh, I did get this one done. Again, as I said, getting police attention to this one does help, because the police will get cars, which you can then kill with your weapon. But anyways, I started chucking it at these parked cars over here, and passed that one relatively straightforward but yeah that one can be a bit of a tricky one and finally another vehicle killing mission pay close attention to what I do with the moonbeam here this can help I decided to park it to perform a roadblock procedure uh, in this one which I sort of waited for the cars to gather before triggering this rampage so I sort of waited until I had a decent amount of cars and then I triggered it. Thankfully you're given the rocket launcher in this one and the aim is to destroy 13 vehicles in 120 seconds. I started by 
well, attempting to shoot at my moonbeam didn't really go well because the pedestrian decided to stand in the way, but uh, eventually I hit it and straight off the bat, you know, that's three vehicles done. Uh, one thing worth noting with the rocket launcher is you can fire this thing very quickly indeed, there's not a lot of reload time. You do have to be very careful not to shoot it at pedestrians though, again, full health and armour on this one is very much needed. This one can be tricky depending, uh, but I got pretty lucky here. Essentially, much like the grenade one, getting police attention here can actually help because the police will bring, you know, their vehicles, uh, which can take out. I don't think I could hit this car from here, which was a bit of a shame. Uh, but you can sort of see I did hit that police car. The rocket launcher has a decent amount of rage on it. Again, definitely better than the grenade launcher, in my opinion. Uh, still trying to hit some vehicles over there. I don't think I was aiming a car off up. But I pop around this corner and see a bunch of perennials sitting here, so I figured I'd take those out because of the damn perennials. I also blew some pedestrians up to try and get some more cops to spawn. Uh, again, just bear in mind splash damage with the rocket launcher. If they get too close, uh, it can be an issue. I would recommend sort of staying in this little enclave to try and give you a little bit of cover. And also pre-firing uh, can help significantly. As I said, this one is a bit of a nightmare. Also, the roof here does help protect you from the helicopter but uh, yeah kind of got almost unlucky with this one end up killing myself but I did pass the rampage for a reward of $30,000 so there you go uh, $100,000 pretty quickly uh, you do have to bear in mind if you've got any weapons that you want to keep hold of I wouldn't really recommend starting the rampages with those do them nice and early in the game before you have anything really worth saving uh, but yeah, anyways, that is the rampages done for Portland. Of course, when we get to Stolton Island, I will show you how to do those on Stolton Island and Shoreside Vale. But uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Next time, I'm going to be taking a look at everyone's favourite paramedic. Join me for that. Until then, a farewell. It's like, yeah.